everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I like perform during a week. And what I'm gonna be showing you is how I do this using a bullet journal. That's what a lot of the videos on my channel are about because I want to show you how you don't need a whole lot of additional apps or tools or you don't have to get digital in order to be really productive and be really focused, staying on task for the things that matter the most to you. Now, we're talking about this from like a performance action-based standpoint. There's a lot of other things that you can do really well digitally, like research, long-term project planning. But what I wanna focus on today is how I'm using the bullet journal with the gap preview and the wrap review, along with the time graph video that I shared in the last bite-sized bullet journal video. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. It'll just be a few minutes, come back and we'll wrap up and I'll share a couple other thoughts at the end. Ready, set, go. Okay, in this bite size Bujo video, I want to show you how a completed weekly layout actually looks. So this is going to include the gap preview, the time graph, the task list, and then also the weekly wrap, and then also weekly notes and like random to do's. So let me just take you through this. It's gonna be really simple. I hope that you get some inspiration from it. But what I'm starting the week out with is this gap preview. So looking at what are my goals, what are the actions? When do I protect the time for those actions so that I can do them and achieve my goal? You see how this works, you know, down and then back up. I also want you to see with these actions and with this like protection layout, I'm giving each one kind of a third of the page. And so all the actions for number one have an amazing first week of productivity power up cohort two all of those like main action tasks are right here. And then right below that, I'm writing in the protection for those times so that I can get those actions done. Same thing for doing these videos. When am I going to protect it? Here are the actions. Same thing with just relaxing a little bit. Uh, what do I need to do? And then when is that actually going to happen? And then throughout the week, I'm doing my time graph. I have my to-dos, whether that's at the bottom or a lot more of what I've been doing is having the like random, you know, non-time related tasks on the right side of the page, time graph on the left side of the page. And then at the end of the week, my wins, my results, my aspiration, the results of my aspirations, and then ways that I'm going to pivot going into next week. And then this other page that I've added, and I'm just being, <laughs> I'm being a lot more luxurious with my bullet journal time, like using more pages. So I have a page right here for weekly notes. It might be like a random to do that I might add in, but just having like a catch all page for anything about the week that maybe didn't go in the daily log or the preview or even the wrap review. So you can see I've done the same thing for this past week. Here's my gap preview. Here are my task list and weekly notes for this week. Instead of having it at the end of the week, I moved it up. So it's gap preview, task list, weekly notes right here, and then continuing through. Here's that time graph. There are those task lists, just continuing through. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the weekly wrap up. So that's how a completed week looks. I hope you get some ideas and inspiration from this. Make sure you check out all of the related videos if you want to deep dive in each of these. There's one for gap, there's one for wrap, and there's one for the time graph. So let me know what you think in the comments and look for more of these videos in the coming days and weeks. I want you to think about this concept that if you can stack one good week on top of each other, you're gonna end up having a really great month. And if you can continue that throughout several months, through a quarter, even through an entire year, I'm telling you, that is the secret to having a great year. The secret to having a great year is to stack a bunch of great weeks on top of each other. And what I love about the span of a week and the reason that I focus on it so much from a planning and performance standpoint is because you can pretty easily get and build momentum to where you are stacking these great weeks on top of each other. The other thing that I like about the week is you can, you know, kind of have a couple of bad weeks. And 
it's not going to destroy your entire year because one of the things that I, I actually have this card over my desk and it says don't allow a bad day to become a bad week or a bad week to become a bad month and one of the ways that you can do that is focusing on that pivot point that we go over in the wrap review so what are the things that i want to pivot or try and do a little better how can i halt negative momentum and start to build even in a really small way positive momentum going into the next week so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think about this bite-sized bujo series probably gonna be doing a little bit more of these the response for the first one is really positive in the comments so let me know what you think about bite-sized bujo number two here and if you're new to the channel please like subscribe check it out love to have you it's a great community and i appreciate you watching thanks everybody bye